Hey guys, it's Todd. How is everybody today? Uh, I got a mail call. I actually got about uh, about 25 Johnny Lightnings in, but I'm only going to show seven because I do have to go to work here in another couple hours. So I guess this will be a couple of part videos. Might actually there's a, there's a clunk of them here. Um, might have to do two videos maybe tomorrow. But anyway, guys, I'm going to do seven. I bought these as a lot on an auction uh, from a guy here in Canada. So we're going to start out here with a 1961 Ford Thunderbird. There's some cool cars in here. These are old. A lot of these are old by the look of them, uh, from what I can see. And some of them look like they're a little bit older. These are not. I don't think. Well, at least to my knowledge, I do not believe these look fresh off the shelf uh, or off the pegs I should say so this is pretty cool for sure you can see the detail in the motor and out there pretty weird looking uh, pretty weird looking uh, paint job we'll give her another spin around here but uh, yeah so they're all Johnny Lightnings except one one is an M2 but uh, I'll I'll show that tomorrow my friends so we can have a quick look. We're gonna have yeah. So it got a pile of them. <laughs> I wasn't counting on them to you know all show up at once. Alrighty, my friends, we're gonna do a 1977 AMC Pacer. Now this is the first pace. Well, no, I'm sorry. I have a, a packing Pacer, the old Hot Wheels variation. But I have to say, I do. Uh, this is my actually my first Pacer, uh, as far as uh, uh, you know, Johnny Lightning is concerned, or Green Light, or or M2. So I think this is pretty sweet. Again, it's kind of one of those cars like Pinto, uh, you know, the Vega, the Monza. Uh, those are cars a lot of younger people today would not be very familiar with. And this, oh, the Gremlin was another one as well. You know, but I think this is pretty cool. It is a metal base, guys. I, I'm again. I'm not sure the year. I just opened these up not too long ago. Not sure the uh, the year this was issued. Nor I am familiar with any of them as when they issued. So I opened them up. Thought I'd do a video. Get seven of them out of the way. As I said, I'll do the rest tomorrow. I got this is my last regular night tonight, and then. I'm working overtime tomorrow night, so make some extra Skrilla, that's what it's all about. And then I go back to day shift, so my shift rotation is every two weeks, so. But I work on the trains, I'm a brakeman, I actually fix all the brakes and stuff, so. Listed as kind of essential, you know what I mean, so. Oh well, pays the bills. Alrighty, my friends, this one here, we're going to do a 1978 Corvette. This is pretty cool, I have to say. I'm not big on these these years. Eh, I'm not big on these years of Corvettes. I like them from the 50s. I like them even in the 60s as well. But, yeah, I like the, definitely, eh, I didn't mind the 75s. I didn't mind the, the 77s wasn't bad either. But, uh, a buddy of mine uh used to have a 72 i think it was it was a pretty nice car but i like the corvettes from the from the 50s for sure much more so than anything else really other than the stingray and that i, I enjoyed in the 60s as well Alrighty, my friend we're gonna do a night i'm not sure the engine oh, oh yeah does it oh it does dude Let's see a bit of it there my friends we're going to do a 71 Buick Riviera, otherwise known as the famous boat tail. This is absolutely sweet, my friends. This is this is a nice gold. I like this it's big time. Actually, this is, well, I liked all these cars. Um, I think this is a good little lot. And uh, But this Riviera, and this Riviera is what kind of sealed the deal for me look at the louvers and that in the back this is awesome i like this is definitely uh i think this out of these seven cars my friend 
that I'm going to show you here, or I'm showing you now, I should say. These, this one here is actually my favorite out of this lot. I absolutely think this is just divine. I love my bow tails. These are aw This is awesome. Yeah, this is sweet. We'll give her here. We'll pull her off here in a second. But look at that. This is a really nice go. I like this for sure. I got many boat tails in and Hot Wheels. Excuse me, my friends. Uh, I got a lot of a lot of rivies. I do love my rivies, but this one here, this is my first boat tail in a Johnny Lightning. So this is absolutely sweet. We'll have a quick look at the look at that. Absolutely sweet. Alrighty, now here's another one I really like too. Here's a 72 Pontiac Grand Prix, my friends. Look at this bad boy here. This is absolutely another welcome addition. I do not have the Grand Prix in my uh, Johnny Lightning collection. This is actually a first one here of this style, believe it or not. And uh, again, <laughs> This, is, this this one here and the Boatdale were were are my two favorite, and uh, yeah, and there there it, but there's a couple. Well, actually, guys, like I said, I like the whole lot, but a couple cars that were just absolutely without a shadow of a doubt. This one and the Boatdale, even the rest were all fantasy cars. I probably would have bought the lot just for these two here for sure. Absolutely. Look at that power plant there. This would be this would be a Grand Prix here. You would not want to go up against this thing here. I'll leave you a set of black candy canes, no problem whatsoever. I love the red on this. It's got. The, we'll have a quick look here, my really that. Absolutely sweet. I'm gonna do a '65 Buick Riviera here, my friends. Yep. Three Buicks in this. This is pretty sweet. I, I I like this. I mean, I got the 64 and that in the Hot Wheels. Um, you know, I like those. Don't get me wrong. Got some of the some different ones as well. You know, and I enjoy the Rivies. I've even got an 81 in that from the Matchbox series and stuff, or in the Matchbox side of things. And yeah, this here is absolutely sweet. Not sure the engine will, oh it does, look at that, there we go. As you can see guys, I'm not familiar with these cars because they've only been in my possession for maybe half an hour or so. I'm going to definitely uh, give them a little cleaning up. Well, they're not, they're actually clean, don't get me wrong, but I'm going to give them a clean here before they do get on my shelves. So I thought I'd show you as I had some time. But like I say, look at this, Rivy. Again, I'm not overly big on... Uh, the real, you know, the real flashy beat, but this isn't bad on on a rip on this rivy. I don't mind this. This is kind of unique. You have to see this going down the street for real. It'd be pretty sweet. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It'd be absolutely sweet. Yeah. So I, I'm happy with this lot, my friends. I've got one more car left to show, but as I said, I'll probably do one or two videos tomorrow. To show you the rest of the Johnny Lightning, so there we are. We'll take a look here. See, these cars are all men here as well, so that's why I clean that shelf off. Uh, well, that's why I clean that shelf out or made room here on my shelving unit here the other day, as I showed in my video, because I knew these guys were all coming. So now look at this here, my friends. This here, look at this. I think this is one of the zingers or the street freaks. Look at this. This is absolutely sweet. This is a 72 uh, Olds Cutlass. This is a Hearst, uh, Hearst mop variation. And look at, the, look at this thing here. This thing is definitely wired for sound. Yeah, yeah. this one here, uh, this would be the, the strongest one I think out of the lot here. But I absolutely love this. Yes, and again, guys, I'm not familiar when the years the years these come out. I do know the well, the other ones coming up are in the early 90s, or sorry, in the 90s, and in the early 2000s. I think, however, there is a couple of newer ones. But look at this, though. Look at this fatties and that here. You need a step ladder to get in this. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
There's that dog. Look at that big part. Look at that big block sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. Out of my way, here I come. Look at this. Yeah, I definitely would not want to wager a pink slip against this one here. I love this guy. Look at that. This is way out there, man. But it's really nicely detailed. Look at that. The tail light. See, I even said on different castings I like that they should detail the light. Look at that. See, a little bit of red there just goes a long way. Just accentuates the car. Uh, so, <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, you know, so, um, this is absolutely nice. Like I say, just a little bit of detail on some of the models will give it that, give it that extra, extra flash. You know what I mean? And uh, I'll turn it around this way. So, but look at that though. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I think again, like I say, guys, this is a pretty good lot. So, alrighty, my friends. I hope you enjoyed checking these seven uh, uh, Johnny Lightnings out. I enjoyed sharing them with you. Uh, like comment or subscribe and uh as always guys i do appreciate you taking the time to check these out so stay safe out there my friends keep collecting and we'll talk to you soon